Hey everybody, um, so if you cannot tell, I'm in a different location. I have moved, um, and I've got some of my figures unpacked. Uh, not all of them. I'm still in the unpacking process. Uh, I still have to put the masterpieces up, but I have a lot of my mainline stuff out, some of my Sentai stuff out, so I'm going to start doing some reviews. I've got some new stuff, too, that we're going to get to, but for now, um, we're going to talk about... Uh, the Unicron Trilogy figures that I mentioned that I wanted to review. So, here we have Armada Starscream from Legacy. And I originally, because I don't, I didn't really collect mainline stuff much. I, I guess I am now, to a degree. Um, but eventually I was on Amazon. I was like, you know what? I gotta get them. I grew up with the Unicron Trilogy. So, we got him and Hotshot the same day. And now I have Prime and Megatron, who I've already reviewed, as you guys have seen, if you've seen it. So, anyway, here is Starscream. This is actually my second copy of Starscream, because my first one, my dog, when he was a little, when he was a younger dog, when he was a puppy still, uh, decided he was going to chew Starscream apart, so, uh, <laughs> meaning my dog's not all that old, if uh, he was a puppy back then, but anyway, um, he doesn't really roll, as far as I can tell, because I can't find wheels on him, and he can still do the uh, Null Ray Cannon, but he doesn't come with Swindle, obviously, because none of the Armada guys do. He doesn't even have a spot where he'd plug in. Like, Prime, Megatron, and Hotshot all have spots where you'd be able to plug a Minicon in. Like, where it'd like, be like a fake hole there or something, but he doesn't have that. What he does come with is his sword, which is not just his wing anymore, because in the original toy, his wing would come off and become a sword. I think it was this wing. He also comes with the Star Saber, which I find weird that it comes with Star Scream. But they can both store on him. It's not great storage if you can do it. But like I said, I think it's weird that Starscream comes with the Star Saber. Because I figured this would come with Hotshot or Megatron. Because they used it more than Starscream did. But, <laughs> alright, sure. Um, now are we going to get a Skyboom Shield and a Requiem Blaster? Uh, that'd be kind of cool. Maybe if they do an Armada Scavenger, he can come with the Skyboom Shield. Um... I don't know. We'll see. I don't know who would come with the Requiem Blaster, though. Maybe Jetfire. Who knows? But, anyway. Let's go ahead and transform him. So, it's not that hard. So, we're going to go ahead and um, I'll open this piece up. And we're going to pull out his legs. Turn them around. Close this up. Fold that up. And we are going to open up the heels. Now we're going to get all of this straightened out, like so. The um, front of the jet will become his chest. Fold those pieces in. Fold that piece back right there. Straighten out the arms. Push them in. Open this piece up. Rotate out the hands, like that. Same thing over here, and then you throw him on the uh, on your table, because he's been a very, very naughty Decepticon. And then plug that piece you pulled off back in, then fold the wings back, and there you go. Armada Starscream in robot mode. And to be fair, he does look like Armada Starscream. He looks pretty cool. Um, Now, unlike, say, like, Prime, um, Armada Starscream has had a modern figure, which was, um, I forgot what year it was. A few, it was a few years back. He had one, I think, uh, Generations. Megatron did, too, but his was just a remold of Combiner Wars. Megatron and Hotshot had that terrible universe story we don't talk about. But I never had that uh, uh, that um, Generations Armada Starscream toy. But I did get this one because it looks a lot better to me. Um, Feel-wise, he's not great, <laughs> as you saw the floppy legs. His head is on a ball joint, so he can do a full 360. Can look up, down arms, move up at the shoulders, move forward, back, can turn right there, he's got a double elbow joint, he doesn't really have any wrist movement, which is weird, there's no reason they couldn't have fit a wrist in there, but he has a slight waist swivel, which, given the chest design, is kind of impressive, his legs can go forward, back, turn here, he can do the splits, he has a knee, and he has a ankle pivot right there. So he's got decent articulation. 
I just don't get why he doesn't have a risk giving me the swordsman. That's just me. He can, of course, hold his weapons. And he can hold the star saber. Now, if I'm honest, I don't keep him with the star saber, but he can hold it. And, of course, if you want to, you can fold this piece up and down and give him the null ray cannons, just like he had in the show. Which, again, it's the gimmick is there, which is nice, but again, it's, that was a minicon gimmick. So, now, of course, I have to do this. Here he is with his commander in chief, the guy he worships, Megatron. So, as you can see, Megatron is taller because Megatron's a leader class Star Wars Voyager. And if you want to, Megatron can hold the, um... Megatron can hold the Star Saber. It looks pretty small in his hand, not gonna lie. But it looks better with Starscream, but Megatron can hold it if you want him to. So, and they do actually look pretty, they do actually look pretty good together, I gotta, I gotta say. I like Megatron more as a toy, myself. And of of the four Unicron trilogy guys, or the because I have Galaxy Upgrade Optimus too, but I guess that's technically G One Optimus. Um, of the four Armada guys, I do like Starscream the least, and it's really because of how floppy the legs are. But he's not a bad figure, especially if you're a, a Armada fan. If you grew up with Armada like I did, this guy is right up your alley. Um, I would definitely say if you're going to go for the Unicron trilogy, you need, kind of need to get him. Especially if you're going to get Megatron. Starscream's really good with him. And he's still around. I saw, like, four of him at Walmart yesterday. So, he's still e pretty readily accessible. So, I'd say if you want him, grab him. He's not a bad figure by any means. But of the Armada guys, he's definitely the bottom of the list for me. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around for more. Take care.